Hey folks, Mike Murphy here. In this quick little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get this look here. This little picture in picture look where it looks like both are on an angle. You can see here this is the screen and this is me looking up at the screen. It's a nice little touch if you're doing a screencast recording and I'll show you how to do it here inside of ScreenFlow. Could not be easier. It really is a simple little effect here, but it adds a nice little touch for sure. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to reset these back to zero by hitting and resetting the defaults. So you know how the top one here, you can tell which layer is selecting because the bounding box will show up. So this is me from the webcam. Okay. This is, here we go. And then the bottom is the screen. So, you know, if you change the order that the screen will come on top, all basic stuff here, but I'm going to show you how to get this little look here of doing the angles. So, Again, and I am in ScreenFlow 6.2. This is the latest version, but this will work in any version of ScreenFlow. So what we want to do is basically change the, the Y rotations. So I'm going to go ahead and start with me. This is the top layer. I'm going to scale me down. I'm a little big there. And I'm going to move me down to the bottom corner here. I like to be in this bottom right corner when I'm doing a screencast. It's just um, you can put yourself anywhere. If you wanted to be in the screen, you would do something like that. Get yourself in the screen of Camtasia. But I'm going to move me down to this bottom right corner. And so I just need to change the angle. And you're going to change the Y rotation. And just move this. You can play around with these. If you really get turned around and don't know what you're doing, you can click here and go to reset. But what we're going to do is change this to, to an angle that works. Let's go back to the default because I have it turned around. So what I'm going to do is put in a number. And let's just I just do 45. You can see it went the wrong way. So just put the negative in there negative 45 and that'll give me a little angle maybe that's not quite enough let's go minus 60 so there you give me a nice angle i'm going to bring down the scale a little bit you can either use the scale or just use the bounding box handles over there so there that's a nice little angle now what we want to do is change this to an angle so we're going to take the y rotation and move it and you can see we're going in the positive so let's go 60 on this side and see what that looks that might be a little bit too angled Kind of go 45, see how that looks. So 45 looks nice. And so there you have a nice little look. It's a picture in picture look. And you can really fine tune this by just pulling on the, you can move up to scale if you really want to zoom in. You know, maybe you're going to do animate this and you want to give a really close look at this. I mean, that's a sharp little look right there. So feel free to play around with this and you can add keyframes here by adding actions. So if you want to do this by time, you know, maybe you want to do part, Maybe you want this to go big for a little bit and move in. You'll do that in the time with the keyframe. That's how you do it inside of ScreenFlow. Camtasia, it's even easier. They have a tilt left and a tilt right. So you would just drag that onto your clip and you will automatically switch and you just do the angle. I find Camtasia to be a lot easier to do animations like that than ScreenFlow. Um, but it's basically the same concept. You're just trying to get the Y angle just at a certain degree. And... Uh, Play around with it. Have some fun. Cheers.